top 10 criminal leaders in the world. Despite the popular belief that crime does not pay, several rich gangsters prove otherwise. While the majority die or are imprisoned, a select few are able to spend their money. You've probably heard of these legendary con men, but do you know who the richest criminals in history are? We previously ranked them based on who amassed the most wealth. And here's another list that will surprise you as to where the most famous criminal leaders fall, as well as who takes the top spot. Today, we'll look at the top 10 richest gangsters of all time. Number 10, Meyer Lansky. Meyer Lansky, popularly known as the mob's accountant, was an American organized crime figure who alongside his associate, Charles Lucky Luciano, helped to establish the National Crime Syndicate in the United States. Lansky, a member of the Jewish mob, built a gambling empire that stretched around the world. Lansky also had a great influence on the Italian-American mafia and had a significant part in the criminal underworld's consolidation. The actual scope of this job has been called into question as Lansky has rejected any of the allegations leveled against him. In 1982, Forbes named him one of the 400 wealthiest people in America. Despite nearly 50 years of involvement in organized crime, Lansky was never convicted of anything more severe than illegal gambling. Lansky was convicted on federal tax evasion charges in 1970 and attempted unsuccessfully to escape to Israel. He was acquitted partially due to his poor health and he died of lung cancer in 1983. He had less than $35,000 in his bank account at the time of his death, but federal authorities claim he had approximately $400 million hidden, which makes him number 10 on our list. Number 9. Anthony Salerno Anthony Fat Tony Salerno was the underboss and frontman of the Genovese crime family in New York City from 1981 until his conviction in 1986. However, by 1992, Salerno's health was worsening in prison. The New York Times stated he died of complications from a stroke while serving terms of 100 years and 70 years on separate federal racketeering convictions. In 1986, Fortune magazine named Fat Tony Salerno the most powerful and wealthy gangster in America. Salerno made a fortune by loan sharking, charging a mafia tax on New York City construction, and defrauding Nevada casinos. The Genovese crime boss received his nickname from his size and appearance. He was also known for carrying cigars and wearing a t-shirt and a hat. Salerno had an estimated net value of $600 million. Number 8. Dennis Kozlowski Leo Dennis Kozlowski is a former CEO of Tyco International who was convicted in 2005 of offenses involving $81 million in unauthorized bonuses, the purchase of art for $14.725 million, and Tyco's payment of $20 million investment banking charge to Frank Walsh, a former Tyco director. Over a two-year period from 99 to 2001, Kozlowski stole millions from the company and used it to buy luxury New York real estate, yachts, and the $6,000 gold and burgundy shower curtain that earned him the nickname Piggy. He was sentenced to 25 years in Mid-State Correctional Facility in New York, and in 2014, he was granted a conditional release. His net value is $600 million. Number 7. Bernard Madoff American fraudster and financier Bernard Lawrence Madoff was responsible for the largest Ponzi scheme in history. He promoted the development of electronic trading platforms as well as the idea of payment for order flow, which has been called a legal kickback. After his sons reported him to the authorities in 2008, the chairman of NASDAQ admitted to running the biggest Ponzi scheme in American history. Bernie Madoff pleaded guilty in 2009 to 11 federal felonies. The Madoff investment scandal, which started in the middle of the 1980s, cost clients close to $65 billion. In 2009, Madoff was given a 150-year prison sentence. According to reports, the fund established to compensate victims of the Ponzi scheme is currently on its ninth distribution with a total of $11.4 billion distributed thus far. He had a net value of $820 million, which makes him the seventh richest person on our list. Number 6. Al Capone Alphonse Gabriel Capone was an American gangster and businessman who was sentenced to prison at the age of 33 and his seven-year reign as a crime lord came to an end. During the Prohibition era, the notorious gangster who went by the name Public Enemy No. 1, or Scarface, amassed a multi-million dollar fortune through gambling, prostitution, and bootlegging. According to legend, Al Capone was behind the St. Valentine's Day Massacre in 1929 and the attempted murder of the Northside gang leader Bugs Moran. Capone served six and a half years for income tax evasion even though he wasn't charged with any crimes related to his racketeering. He was freed and in 1947 he had passed away in Miami. His net value was $1.3 billion which is why he is the sixth richest gangster on our list. Number 5. Alan Stanford Robert Allen Stanford is an American financial fraudster 
former financer and a sponsor of professional sports. The American billionaire was convicted in 2012 of running a $7 billion Ponzi scheme, money laundering, and obstruction of justice. In 2009, Stanford financial offices were searched by federal agents. Alan Stanford was found guilty of massive ongoing fraud by the Security Exchange Commission in 2009, and he was given a 110-year prison term. He is currently incarcerated at Coleman Federal Penitentiary in Florida. In 2016, Stanford told the BBC, I didn't do anything wrong. Will I apologize? No, you have my word. I am going to walk out of the doors of this place a free man. He continues to claim his innocence. His net value is $2 billion. Number four, Kun Sa. Kun Sa was an ethnic Chinese drug lord. He overtook the opium trade from 1974 to 1994 and is also referred to as the publicity-loving Golden Triangle drug lord. He reportedly held control of over 70% of the heroin trade in the Golden Triangle at the time. He constructed an army and a sizable heroin production facilities with the money. To take control of a significant portion of the Sa region, Kun Sa's empire exchanged opium for guns. Guerrilla chief Kun Sa dubbed himself King of the Golden Triangle. In 1996, he turned himself into the Burmese government in exchange for government protection. At the age of 73, he passed away from undetermined causes. His net value was $5 billion, making him the fourth richest person on our list. Number 3. Victor Boot Victor Boot is a Russian arms dealer, entrepreneur, and former Soviet military interpreter. He uses numerous air transport firms to smuggle weapons from Eastern Europe to Africa and the Middle East in the 1990s and early 2000s after the Soviet Union's fall. Boot earned the nickname the Merchant of Death and Sanctions Buster. Boot was found guilty of conspiring to murder American officials and supporting the FARC terrorist group. He was also accused of money laundering and wire fraud that experts believe contributed to his billion-dollar fortune. In 2012, Boot received a 25-minimum sentence. His argument was dismissed by the Second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in New York. In an effort to have his conviction overturned, Boot hired former U.S. Attorney General John Ashcroft in 2014. Boot once dared Donald Trump, who was the president-elect at the time, to pardon him if he became president. His net value is $6 billion. Number 2. Simeon Mogilevich Simeon Yudkovich Mogilevich is a Ukrainian-born Russian organized crime boss. In the style of an American mafia family, he quickly established a highly organized criminal organization with 250 members, many of whom were his relatives. He is referred to as the boss of bosses of the majority of Russian mafia syndicates in the world by agencies in the European Union and the United States. The FBI has charged him with weapons trafficking, contract killings, extortion, drug trafficking, and international prostitution. He is said to have an estimated net worth of $10 billion according to a number of sources, but no one can confirm this with certainty. He has been wanted by the FBI for years and they also call him the most dangerous mobster in the world, but he keeps getting away from the law. Number 1. Amado Correo Fuentes Amado Correo Fuentes, also known as the Lord of the Skies, was a character in the Netflix series Narcos Mexico. He overtook the Juarez cartel in real life, which transported drugs with sizable jet fleets. The Independent calculated his net worth to be $25 billion after his death in 1997, which is equivalent to $56.8 billion in today's dollars, which makes him number one on our list. If the celebrities who regretted their plastic surgery procedures aren't enough to convince you to think twice, perhaps the drug lord's collapse will. He passed away as a result of complications from the plastic surgery procedure he underwent to alter his appearance so that law enforcement wouldn't be able to apprehend him. Each and every crime poses a risk to the victim as well as personal harm, so money earned through hard work will be more valuable than money obtained through fraud. With this, here comes the end of the video. If you are new here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Bye, see you in the next video.